It's about 4.15 a.m. I'm just getting out here to the barn. Gonna milk this morning here. I just got pen one out of here. Uh, went through, cleaned off the beds. I uh, want to get all the moisture off. Um, the idea with that is to get rid of bacteria to uh, prevent mastitis, which is that's the most common uh, infection that we can deal that we deal with. They can get in their udder. So the the cheapest and most effective way of dealing with mastitis is just prevent it. So. Just got the first side of pen one milk. Got the second side in here, so we'll milk these now. Gonna go through them and foam them first. This is uh, hydrogen peroxide. It's what you put on a cut. Uh, it kills bacteria and it'll soften up the dirt there so we can get them cleaned off really good. So now I'm gonna go through and strip them. Uh, three strip, strips for each teat. Um, this is doing a couple things. It's allowing me to be able to look at the milk, make sure it looks healthy. Uh, and then it's also letting the cow know we're about to milk her. She'll start letting her milk down. Now I'm gonna wipe them. I go around, get the outsides good and clean, and then flip the towel over to a dry spot and make sure I get that end nice and clean. So we'll have two people milking and each of us will take half. So that's six or seven cows. Um, that'll, that'll get the timing about right. You wanna give them a little bit of time between uh, when you strip them and when you put the milker on so they can let their milk down about a minute or a minute and a half. So these are ready for milkers now. and you just let it flow. The milkers are very comfortable. They, they really like it. They just sit and stand there relaxed. And then the, the milkers will pull off automatically then once the milk slows down. Now I'll switch back over to the other side and I'll put the post dip on here. This is just, uh, it's gonna protect the teeth, um, keep the bacteria out and it also has some lotions in it to help keep it uh, nice and soft. So each group is just three sides of cows. Just got the last side of pen one in, now gonna go out and get pen two.
Pen 2 is our first calf heifer group. So these are the ones that just had their first calf within the last year. If anyone's wondering how many cows we're milking, uh, this is where I keep track of the groups. This morning we're gonna be milking uh, 173 cows. How's it going? This one here is our tamest cow. Most of them just mind their own business, but this one seems to always be in the way. I guess she's just being friendly, I don't know. Come on. This cow right here is our highest producing cow right now. She's making about 160 pounds a day. Pens one, two, and three are all milked. I'm opening up pen four now. My dad's mixing feed right now. The cows are all just relaxing. This is when a majority of them will lay down. Getting the last of pen four in here. Uh, then we just gotta get the special needs over and milk them yet. So we're milking the special needs now here. These three cows with the red bands are the three we're keeping out. Um, so we are not an organic dairy farm, so we use antibiotics, um, but we only use them when we need them. And it's, it's a really nice tool to have um, as an option. So we, we're not allowed to put any antibiotic milk in the tank. Um, if we, it's not that the milk company is just trusting us that we won't. Um, they test every load, and if they find any trace of it, they'll uh, dump your tank and they won't pay you a cent. So we we can't be getting antibiotics in. We got to make sure we keep the uh, treated cows out, and uh, we're not putting their milk into the line. So this one here had a little infection here in her left front. You can see the mastitis there. That's not what we want right there. So we're. Uh, we're treating her with an antibiotic, putting that in up right into the quarter, and um, hopefully that'll get better. So we have to keep her milk out until we're done treating her, and then give her a few more days to uh, clear out and make sure there's no antibiotics in the milk anymore. All milked and happily eating. In the morning, we scrape out here in front of the special needs pen uh, before we let them back in. So we're all done, it's 7.15, got the wash started. Um, took about three hours. I, uh, I enjoy milking, it's, it's uh, kind of repetitive, but I like the consistency of it and just being able to watch the cows, make sure they're doing well and 
you know, also just seeing that milk flow after all the other work we put in to uh, grow feed and maintain everything around here. It's just kind of nice to be able to see the final product coming out. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, maybe learned something. Um, I just want to give a little shout out to my little sister, Cass. She's over in the Middle East right now doing mission work. Uh, her birthday is tomorrow. I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but happy birthday, Cass, and we miss you here. So, yep, that's it for the video. See you guys later.